Welcome back to the Mullen Performance Audio Channel. I'm out here in the driveway working on the uh, Buick. Uh, I came home from work and wanted to get a little bit of work in. Let me get you guys out of the sunlight. Um, couldn't get much in tonight. Uh, it's it's rained and everything is hot and humid and sticky right now. And uh, I'm just not feeling it anyway. But I did get a little bit of work in here. Let me show you guys. Now I grossly underestimated <laughs> grossly underestimated this um you guys know i'm putting a concrete pad in here and i bought uh five bags of concrete and uh it was not enough um i'm thinking probably another six seven eight maybe in the, maybe four more Maybe four more get me where I need to be. Because I still got another two inches to here. So, I mixed this up real wet. to Because, you know, to get in all the crevices and everything. I'll mix it up drier on the top. And uh, when I flush everything out. Um, I hit this with the jigsaw. Not the jigsaw. The uh, sawzall. All along there. And then all this water came up. And then all the bubbles came up. Which, you know, it's kind of what you're supposed to do. And it kind of settled a little bit and worked its way into the crevices. But you guys see I got another two inches, three inches, four inches there that I have to come up. And that was already five bags. And that was enough for me. Um, I'll get four more. And uh, after Slamology, I will get in here and uh, get this finished because I want to get this pad put in. I've had a water pump on order from Rock Auto for the last four days five days kind of figured it'd be here by now for this car once it gets here um, maybe sometime next week I will I'll finish this pad I'll let this kind of dry um, I'll finish this pad and then once I get this pad finished um, I'll throw the fuel pump on this car I still have to put the other fuel pump on the Malibu and I'm just uh, not feeling it right now so um, the old body's not working. So when I get uh, back from Slamology this weekend and uh, and get all that done and um, just so much stuff to do, so much stuff, not enough time. So, but I just want to show you guys just a little bit of progress I got going on right now. Uh, I have a feeling by the time it's all said and done, there's going to be probably about close to 500 pounds just in this little pad right here just in the pad so we got roughly 500 pounds of concrete I would guess um, here and then we're gonna add probably another let's say 500 pounds in wood and braces and then another probably what two three probably close to 750 to a thousand pounds between subs and amps so it's the weights climbing up there but this car sits really high anyway and by the time it's done it's gonna have its own natural lowering kit <laughs> definitely have to beef up the suspension when I'm done um, but yeah baby steps guys it's always baby steps uh, this is the first time I've ever poured concrete in a vehicle uh, I don't know how many people can say that. I know not a lot, but in our hobby, it's a little bit more common. I think the neighbors were probably thinking I'm building, I don't know, a killdozer or something. <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> uh, killdozer 2022. A <laughs> uh, reasonable man doing unreasonable things. <laughs> All right, guys. I'm hurting. I will I will talk to you guys later. I will see you guys at Slamology. Have a good week. Peace out.